to another episode of Apex Alpha Tech Talks. Now, I see a lot of people buying boards and not knowing what BIOS revision they are getting when they buy a board. And a lot of people that I deal with, they're like, they're like, how do you know? How do you figure out? You just looked at it and it, you didn't even turn it on. You didn't even go into the BIOS. Well, I'm going to show you how to find it. And this works for not everyone, but the majority of all motherboards. So let's check it out. Right here is an X399 Tai Chi motherboard. It's a very nice motherboard. This is for thread rippers. This is this is for first and second generation thread rippers from the 1900X all the way up until the 2990WX. SP3 socket, TRX4 socket. They're kind of interchangeable up. If you see, they're very confusing with these. Okay, it's very, very easy to be overwhelmed by the plethora of sockets for thread rippers. For, for all int intents and purposes, not intensive purposes, all intents and purposes, this applies to every single motherboard that I've encountered so far, which is a lot, a lot of motherboards. Now you will notice on a motherboard, all of these little itty bitty little little chips and ICs. You'll see all kinds of things going on on here. So if you look and you can identify a lot of things like this right here, this is your BIOS flashback on this board, have the power connected and you put the, all of that and then you just turn it on and that's how you would flash a BIOS without installing a CPU or RAM, video card, or all that stuff. But if you want to check to make sure that your motherboard is actually what you paid for, because most B550 boards or uh, this applies to AM4. This isn't really for Intel because they're, they're very standardized with Intel, but a lot of AMD board manufacturers, you can get one where it has the latest BIOS on it, or you can get one that's been sitting in the back of the shelf on a, in a warehouse somewhere, and you're going to get revision 1.01, .01, which is like the, usually the original BIOS that ships with the, with the board. If you notice on this board, a lot of people assume that the BIOS is underneath the chipset heatsink and stuff like that, which it can on some boards. I've never encountered it though, but just putting it out there. So on this particular board, you're going to find a little itty bitty tiny chip. Now I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to put it up, but it is in between your PCIe uh, 16 and your PCIe 8 on this particular X399 ASRock Tai Chi motherboard. The BIOS chip is located right here. You'll always see it. Most of the time it's located near the battery. Right in here, there is a chip and it's on this board it is gray. On here it says P3.90. That is program 3.9. That is the latest BIOS for this board. So I don't even have to flash this board for it to get the processor that it's getting, which is a 39, uh, which is not a 39 a 2990WX. See, I've done, built so many systems with 39 and 9 series thread rippers, the third generation, it just, it's already here and programmed into the brain. And this 2990WX that's gonna be going into this, into this board, I don't have to do a BIOS flashback, which means that I don't have to turn around and put, plug in a power supply and sit here and hope that it flashes. Not only that, but if this was an original revision, like a 1.1 uh, 1 .1 or something, or 1.3, uh, I would have to update this to uh, the, I think, a P230, and then update it to P390, because you sometimes they're in steps and it won't accept the BIOS because it overwrites too many files and it can corrupt stuff. So if you ever want to check your motherboard, before you even take it and put it on a test bench or put it into your system. Always look around the battery area. Always look over here. You will see it'll have a sticker either next to the chip. The BIOS is usually an eight leg chip. So it's an eight leg IC. So you'll see, you know, it'll have like a little spider thing going on. A little, those are the soldering points that it, po it, point, it solders to the motherboard. And it'll have a sticker on it or next to it. And sometimes it'll say BIOS. Like this one, uh, yeah, this is, this is BIOS right there. And then it says BIOS test, right? 
So you're always going to notice that it is next to a battery. Okay? Now there, there's a whole bunch of, of, of ICs on, on a motherboard that have eight, eight legs on them, which is eight connections that go to the motherboard. Uh, the BIOS on here, on ASRock that I know, they're usually gray. They're like a light gray, a gray that kind of matches their boards, but a little bit lighter. Always look for that sticker because you might get a board that doesn't, your motherboard that has, you know, accepts, uh, you know, is Ryzen 3000 compatible, right? And if you, you've already bought, say, a Ryzen 5600G or you've bought a Ryzen, you know, 5800X and then what they shipped you from the factory or from the warehouse doesn't support 5000 series processors out of the box, always take the motherboard out of the box and check to see if you can see P number or whatever and match it up on the buy on their website. So you're gonna match it up onto the, the, the manufacturer's website. Like if you go for this for that board, you go as rock and then you go into whatever motherboard, so X399 Tai Chi, and you go support, and then you'll see BIOS. You click on BIOS and then you'll see all of the revisions. If you see a sticker that says for an ASRock board, take take for that. P3.90 and their latest release that is a stable release is P390 you're good to go you don't have to do anything else and sometimes they'll forget to put the little stickers on the box sometimes they'll have a bunch of boxes with Ryzen 3000 series stickers already on them because they pre-make the boxes and uh, They'll forget to update, and those will be the new assembly where they're already preloading, you know, P or UEFI, you know, 4.0 or whatever the case may be, and they're 5000 series compatible, but they don't have the, the correct sticker on the outside of the box. So always check your motherboard to see if the revision is current. It saves you a lot of time, a lot of hassle. A lot of going in and changing, getting a USB, getting a USB stick, and you know, loading up a, 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 the ROM file and changing it to a, to a ROM and putting it on there and then pressing the button and then hoping the power doesn't go out or something and then it corrupts your BIOS or whatever. Hopefully, the board that you do buy comes with a BIOS flashback. If not, I don't know. But <laughs> usually they have protections and then you can just load the original BIOS to the original the OG BIOS that shipped with the board and then you would have to after putting that original BIOS back on to fix the corruption then you could go to the revision that you wanted um, yeah that's that's it I just I thought I would make it an interesting point because I see a lot of people that are actually asking and they're like how do I know what BIOS revision I have I don't have, it doesn't have it on the box it says it's 3000 series compatible but it doesn't work with my 5000 series Ryzen I just bought and you know blah 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 or or how do I check and that's how you check always look by the battery always look by the battery and you will see a tiny little eight eight legged little chip with a sticker on it that says a number and if that number matches up to a BIOS revision update on their website you know exactly what revision BIOS you have anyway I hope that this helps you I hope that it helps some people I know that I haven't really been paying too much attention to this channel. It's been very busy. I've been building servers, planning out server racks, doing this, getting a little game of PCs ready. I got this one right here. It's a, it's a Francisco Scaramanga. Yes, the Bond villain with the man with the golden gun. And then this little guy right here, Project Mohandas, uh, which they're both they're both low, lower entry. But I, I, like I said, I like to... Um, I like to build gaming PCs and sell those. That's basically what Apex Alpha is. I got this up here. It's kind of a little uh, ratty with a little green clip in the back, but that's because I was getting too much glare. The sun was coming in and I couldn't see anything on the screen here. Uh, so I just I just put that up just so that it blocks some light. Um, but yeah, these two systems back here, this one right here uh, is an entry level, uh, entry level beast. And it's pretty pretty darn good for its specs. It's got a Ryzen 3 3100, 16 gigs of DDR32 uh, RAM and uh, dual channel with XMP set. It's got an Asus Tough Gaming Plus B550M motherboard. That's pretty good for a little entry system there. It's got one terabyte from Team Group, the Cardea Zero Z330. And um, it's got uh, a gigabyte Eagle uh, 8, 8 gig uh, 
a Radeon 6600 XT in there. It's got a 750 watt titanium rated Seasonic TX750 power supply in there. So this thing is a beast. You can overclock it. It's already got, I already, I updated the BIOS on here. So it already accepts Ryzen 5000 series. So if you wanted to take that 3100 out and go and switch it out for a 5000 series, you can, you know. But it does impressive frames. I was getting on some benchmarks. I was getting anywhere between, on average, about 160 to 170 FPS on 1080 Ultra. So it'll it'll work. So I'm selling this for just under 14. I'm selling it for 1370 with taxes included, and. Uh, you know, it's pretty good. It's a nice little thing. It's got an Antec NX420 uh, case. I don't have it on right now because I just have so much stuff going on on the desk. You see that glare? It's all like really light back there. That's all from outside. It's really sunny. So that's why I put this up so that you can see some stuff. And then the other one right back here, this little guy, this got a Montec Air 100 light case. That one is going to be a little tiny banger. That one is going to be sub. Uh, this is going to be about about 700 bucks it's going to come with a ryzen uh, 1700 first gen it's going to come with a gigabyte b 450 on motherboard 512 gigs of uh, onboard storage 16 gigs of ram and uh 550 watt gold rated power supply and uh, uh gtx 1650 so it's going to be it's a little little thing i'm just trying to get a couple of these gaming systems out in between building these home theater type and uh data processing center servers out it's been it's been very been very busy it's been very busy um uh, but until next time i will catch you later and i hope that you have a rest of a wonderful sunday and i apologize i will get to making more videos when i have more time but it's just been it's just been hectic and i am one man doing like 50 things at once so take it easy and i'll talk to you later peace